and welcome to today's Make Music Publications Immersive Concert Band Virtual Reading Session. My name is Heather Meyer, and I will be running everything in the background for our session today. We are thrilled to host today's virtual reading session. So let's get things started. Without further ado, let me introduce Brian Balmages. Hey, everybody. Uh, thank you for being here. For some of you, uh, this is your second annual. For some of you, it might be your first one ever, but uh, I am thrilled to have you here. We did the string session yesterday. Um, I set a record. We actually got through every piece, uh, and it was 21 pieces yesterday, only 20 today. So this is going to be a breeze. Um, some of you with band director chops may not be able to feel uh, your faces by the end of it, but uh, we have a lot of great music to get through. And so without further ado, I want to dive in. We have some composers that are going to be here that I'm aware of, some that I might not be aware of. Um, go ahead and, again, light up the chat with questions or anything. Uh, Heather will be watching that. Um, let us know pieces that you love. Um, if you don't like pieces, as long as they're uh, not mine, you can talk about it. But you can't say anything bad about my music. Uh, just kidding. Uh, all right. We're going to dive in. And uh, to give you an idea, as some of you may have seen, the grade levels on these pieces varies a lot. I wanted to make sure that nobody goes too long without playing a uh, different grade level piece. So we're looking forward to that. Please take a picture of your setup. If there's a, I know there's some of you that are like five, six, ten of you in the same room. Take a picture, send it to events at alfred.com or tag me. Um, I love to see the people that are playing and having fun. So uh, make sure that you do that as well. We are going to jump right in with a great piece by Gerard Hall. Hopefully a lot of you know this name by now. If not, you need to. It's about a grade three and a half. It's called a micro symphony and it's a lot of fun. Um, and I'm actually going to get you guys a little bit of the first and third third movements um, but we're going to start right away at the very top so here we go uh again if you need to adjust me uh that's perfectly fine uh, so that you can see me and your music or however you have it set up but in the meantime we are going to go and uh get ready this is skyward spirits first movement and here we go set two <laughs> Great. And so that gives you a little bit of a sense of the of the first movement. Um, if you're looking through, just to kind of give you a quick primer, the second movement is absolutely lovely. Um, and you can play with the opening tempo just a little bit. Um, and then there's a beautiful 6-8 section. Very playable. Great way to even introduce 6-8. It's all um, very straightforward. The third movement, Cloud Burst. Bum, 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 bum. Very exciting as well. We're going to go all the way to the fourth movement. And I'm actually going to start you guys about measure 21 uh so if you can all find measure 21 in the fourth movement right after that three eight measure all right and here we are right and our, here's our tempo set to ready ah Some of our previous themes. I love this part, horns. One, two, and three. Here's 38 here. Oh. 
Okay, so Skyward Symphony, uh, it really, really wonderful piece, uh, Skyward Spirits. And so hopefully you enjoyed that a lot. We are going to jump now to something very, very different, a grade half piece, one of mine. And this piece is called Going Rogue. Uh, I have to talk about the inspiration behind the piece. Um, for those of you who are paying attention, this is uh, written for Jody and Vicky. Jody and Vicky are two of the Alfred marketing people who um, learned very quickly that I just kind of go off on my own and sometimes promote things. And they discovered I was promoting things that they didn't even know about yet in the marketing department. And you can imagine how well that went off. So I decided to dedicate a piece to them called Going Rogue, which is uh, about our complicated relationship. But uh, we really have a great time and I absolutely adore them. So I hope that you enjoy Going Rogue. We're going to start at the very beginning. Three, two, here. Good. So just a little bit of a taste of that. And then what happens is we have this nice, uh, not, not even that sh uh, long, but a quick uh, piano section. You can see there's a lot of terrace dynamics building into the end. And so that is going rogue. Uh, next up, we are going to move on to skedaddle. For some of you that were monitoring the chat, you will see Tim Lowe's is in the session. So um, you guys can give him a shout in the chat if you'd like. Um, I think this piece is absolutely stunning um this is a great honor band piece this is also a great way to push your younger students and so um i think you're gonna really enjoy this here is the opening of skedaddle and we'll do uh the first half of it or so here we go we're moving okay so be aware of that ready set two here ah. three ah
So you get a great idea of that. You know what I love about it is like it's very exciting, very energetic. You have everybody getting great melodic material, but it doesn't sound contrived like, oh, I'm just going to write the low voices for the sake of writing them. Um, everything sounds really well thought out, but there's also ample time for rest. And anytime you have a really exciting piece with ample time for rest, really exciting to me. So, Tim, thank you. We love it. We're going to get back to Tim a little bit later in the session with a special guest, as I understand. So we'll get to that a little bit later as well. Next up, uh, for all of you, especially in the high school realm, uh, Rosano is certainly not a stranger to any of you. This piece, a grade four, a ship in the mist, is actually a very different kind of piece for Rosano. Um, and so it's it's. I guess the best thing to do is just to play it. It's almost like a sea shanty at times. Uh, and there's some incredible cinematic writing that surrounds it as well. Certainly something that you would uh, expect when you see something like Rosano. We're going to go ahead and start right at the very beginning, and then we'll jump towards the end. All right, here's a ship in the mist, Rosano Galante. Ready? And here... Pick up my tempo. Thank you. Big. Good. So I wanted to get you into 25 so that you could get a sense of the melodic idea. Um, and this is going to repeat just a couple of times with different textures. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch the very end of the middle melodic uh, the lyrical section. If you can all find measure 74, and I'll jump for those of you following along in the score, obviously you can follow me as well. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and take it to pick up. I'm going to start right on the downbeat of 74 um some beautiful writing right here and this will get us into the cinematic writing towards the end of the piece we won't get quite to the end but we'll get close all right here we are two three watch my tempo here i'm stretching Keep tempo. Not yet. Keep going. Now, going down. Here we go, horns.
Good. So that gives you a really good taste of this one. I wish we could do the whole thing of every piece. <laughs> really do. Um, so that was A Ship in the Mist, Rosano Galante. Next up, Uniquely You. Hopefully you all are starting to feel warmed up. Chops are starting to, to go, hopefully. I know my friend Amy is on here. She was worried about the about her chops of the horn because I don't think she's been playing every day uh, or many days or years. But I think, uh, Amy, hopefully you're holding up pretty well. Next up, Uniquely You. This is a grade two by Adrian Sims. Um, again, if you don't know Adrian, you need to know him. Uh, he is doing some extraordinary music. He is now a whopping 24. I started working with him when he was in high school extremely uh capable and this is actually a lyrical piece a different side of him that i think you're going to really enjoy okay so this is a little bit of uniquely you adrian sims and we're going to go ahead and start right at the very beginning check out the har harmonies he's using especially and textures ready Stretch there. Trumpets. Yeah, I like the stretch there. Thirty five. Yeah, and I really wanted to get you to that chord change. He really plays with harmony a lot um, and, and does just such a lovely job. So that was Uniquely You. And the other thing about that is the story, right? It reminds us all that each one of us has something unique. We are here for a reason. And each one of us has something beautiful, something unique, something special that uh, is a great reminder for everybody in our in band rooms. So Adrian's Uniquely You, beautiful. Next up, we're going to go to Circles. Um, this is a new piece by me. Something really different. Uh, this is actually, I just found out this is going to be played at Midwest this year. So if you're around, would love to, to see you there. It does use piano. It's a fairly easy piano part, um, but it really is pretty magical um, when you have it. So I really encourage you to do that. Um, this is going to start at 66. I actually wanted to get you all the way to the end. And so we're going to start right at measure 66, if everybody can find that. Okay, our tempo is about bum, 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 bum. All right, here's 66. Right on it. Two, three, set, ready. Ah. Thank you. 
Here's 100 and... Make sure you're counting. Four, four. Okay, thank you. Um, it, it's something completely different that I've not done like that in a long time. So uh, I hope you enjoy that. I love it. Um, we're going to move on to Bore from Tripsikri. Mikkel was actually hoping to join us, but his daughter was coming uh, home from a trip and couldn't make it. So she was not able to come. Uh, he was not able to come because she was able to come. And so um, we're going to go ahead and read his music anyway. This is a wonderful arrangement of the beret from Terpsichore. Not many people can write for beginning band as well as Mikkel does. He just really, really gets it. And this piece is exceptionally well done. So I think you're going to enjoy this great half arrangement of the beret from Terpsichore. Okay, here we are. And to here. Only six notes. Great, great. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to get you back to the recap. I lied. There was false advertising there. Seven notes. I didn't talk. I didn't take the uh, accidental into consideration. So I know none of us are used to false advertising, but I don't want to be the first experience you ever have. So that was the beret from Terpsichore arranged by Mikkel Rogers. All right. Next up is going to be a composer that most of you may not have uh, ever heard of. Uh, her name is Fran Griffin. She is a composer from Australia. And um, it's interesting because she began as a flute player and then she went and completed a degree in mathematics. And then she stayed and taught there and then has returned now as a composer, arranger, and performer. This piece is just absolutely lovely. Those of you that know Henry Middle School, they performed this on their TMEA Honor Band program last year. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to start you all in measure 29 to give you kind of a sense of the feel of this one. And this does move pretty quickly. So I'm going to mostly be in one, but I will uh, count you off in three just to give you a good sense of it. All right. So here's Haunted Night. And here we go. Ready? One, two, three, one, two. Ah.
Good. So it's a little sense of that piece. And it really is just the, even the program notes are just really lovely about that. Great change of pace. Great fall piece. It doesn't have to be during the Halloween time of year because it really does work almost any time of year. But I love it. Uh, so that's Haunted Night. Fran Griffin, grade two and a half. Uh, next up, we have All Is Not Calm, A Not So Silent Night. Um, this is by Katie O'Hara Labrie, dear friend. Katie is on the, the session tonight, so you feel free to drop her a quick hello and thank her. Um, this piece is really cute um, because it not only functions as a, a lighter piece on a winter program, but it's also very much uh, like a section battle kind of feature. Um, and so uh, here's a little bit of All Is Not Calm. All right, we'll start right at the beginning. And here ah. Uh... Don't be shy with those dynamics. Right? So there's a great taste of that. It's really fun. And uh, then she continues and brings the percussion in, as you can see. And then uh, a nice, big, beautiful ending as well. So All Is Not Calm uh, by Katie O'Hara Labrie. Next up is a really pretty piece by a uh, dear friend, and, and certainly we all know this name, Robert Sheldon. Um, this piece, Cherished, when I first heard it, it just really stunned me for the quality of, of the writing, the beautiful harmonies. And so we're going to just start right at the very, very beginning. I wish you could do the whole thing. I really do. Um, but I just want you to enjoy this moment. Brass players, there's a little bit of a chance for you to rest unless you're a trumpet one player. Sorry. All right. Here we are. Cherished Robert Sheldon, about a grade three, but with a young band instrumentation. So no third parts, you'll notice. All right. Here we are. And here. Take your time. Check this out right here. Thank you. 
Good. And we'll stop right there. Um, absolutely beautiful. Lots of beautiful time uh, opportunities. I'm using the word beautiful a lot. Isn't that a beautiful thing? A um, lot of incredible solo opportunities here. Alto sax, clarinet, flute. There's some euphonium as well in there. So it's a great opportunity uh, to really feature some of those sounds. Um, it's just gorgeous, right? And the harmony. See what I mean about that harmonic movement? So that is Cherished, Robert Sheldon. Next up, Rumba de la Tumba. This has a little dark crypt Wednesday feel to it. Uh, grade two and a half. This is a really, again, this is perfect for a Halloween concert, but it really is a great change of pace for virtually anything. Um, it just works so well. So this is Rumba de la Tumba, grade two and a half, Gerard Hall. We're going to start right at the beginning. You're going to really enjoy this, right? There we are. Two, three. And I would love to keep going, right? Uh, but again, all of these pieces you can go on and check out online. All of these are online, including all the pieces that we're not even having time to read tonight. There's probably another 15 pieces in this particular catalog of the Make Music Publications that I'm not even getting to tonight. But I do want to get you guys a good sense of it all. All right, moving on. Uh, this is a piece that I'm having a lot of fun doing with honor bands, especially um, rail riffs. And it's just one big party. It's the best way to describe it. I want to take you to the opening section, which is kind of more folk like based. And then it gets into a really fun jazz section. Um, not swung, but it, it's really it's, it's really it's a lot of fun. So I think you're going to enjoy it. Uh, here we are. Rail riffs, grade four. What I would do normally is toward the end of the piece, I would have each section stand as they come in. We're not going to get that far, but go ahead and listen to it um, and you'll see what I mean. All right. Here's Rail Riffs right from the top. Two. Ready. <laughs> Don't slow down.
Here we go, ready? Da, da, da. Like every trumpet player's mouth started watering during that solo. I know it did, right? And some of you that live in other states probably heard the trumpet players in adjoining states trying to take that up the octave, right? It's what we do. I'm a trumpet player. I get it. All right. So that's Rail Riffs, grade four by me. And like I said, great opportunity to uh, to close a concert with that. I've done it before. Uh, it does go back into the jazz section one last time. And then it ends with the kind of that mambo, that almost that West Side Story feel. Next up, we have Chan Chan by uh, the my great friend William Owens, and Willie is just phenomenal. Um, and and I love this piece. It's a very different sound for him, uh, and so I think you're going to really enjoy this. This is a grade two and a half. We're going to start at measure seventeen. So if everybody find that, um, give you a chance to find that a tempo, <laughs> and so we're going to start right at seventeen, get you into some of this fast section, so you get an idea. All right, but check out the harmonies here. This is not something you often hear from Willie. Here's 17, two, uh, let me see here. Where am I? I'm trying to remember my tempo. Here we go, two, three. Now check out the tempo change. Axles. Forty one here. Good. So you get a good sense of that as well. Um, and uh, again, what he'll eventually do is take you back to that opening, uh, really intense boom, 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 that menacing sound. And then it almost ends very similar to like a Mars. Uh, so it, <laughs> it's really exciting. Um, very big. Uh, so I love this piece by Willie Chan Chan, grade two and a half. Next up. We have Before the Dawn, okay? Now, this is really cool. This is really cool. So I already mentioned to you that we have Tim Lost on this event. And I also believe we have Liliana Alarcon and her mom on this call as well. So Liliana was in, I think it was seventh grade when they actually had this composition contest. Um, this is a really cool thing. What happened was the school had this contest to write uh, a, a melody. And so Liliana wrote this melody. And I'm going to show you what she had submitted. Okay. And then she won this composition contest. And what she did then is she sat down with composer Tim Lowe's, who was also her band director. Um, and or I guess at that point, former band director, because he had just retired. And they created this piece together. And so this really, I think, lit a spark in her uh, about composing. And I think it's a great opportunity for us to really showcase ways to get kids invited and open up that canon of, of kids being able to consider a career in composition that may not have otherwise done that, or at least taking a shot at it, right? So this is Before the Dawn by Liliana. <clears throat> Again, let her know. She's in the chat. Let her know what you think of this piece, okay? All right, here we go. Before the Dawn. And here.
Yeah, and I wanted to get you just slightly into that with hope section so you can hear the change from the minor to the major. Um, so again, this is something they worked on together. It is just absolutely stunning and uh, really excited to see collaborations like this happening. So congratulations, Liliana. Congratulations, Tim. Um, <clears throat> love it. Absolutely love it. So that is Before the Dawn. Next up, we have a piece by Gary Fagan, a very powerful piece called Eulogy for the Fallen. And this is for those who gave all. All right. So this is a piece for first responders who give everything. They sacrifice everything in the name of saving others. We're going to start in measure 21. This is some of the most stunning writing that I've ever seen from Gary. Um, so I hope that you're going to enjoy this. Again, we are at 21. So we are not, we are in between um, a phrase, but this is just a great starting point. So I want you to hear this. Okay. This is Eulogy for the Dawn. Uh, yeah, Eulogy for the Fallen. I just combined two pieces. Ready? Here. Ah. I went just a little slower there. Yeah, and so um, it's just, it's just beautiful writing. Uh, and so I hope you enjoy that. Gary is also uh, here. I think he's playing his trumpet, Gary, if I remember. Um, but Gary is here as well. So um, drop a note to Gary because I know he's playing along. And uh, I could not be more delighted to have, be um, gifted a piece like that to share with the world. So that is Eulogy for the Fallen. Next up, we have Fortune and Glory by Jack Wilds, grade one. So again, we're skipping around quite a bit in the grade levels, but I think you're going to enjoy this as well. All right. This is uh, we've got just a few more to go. I think we're going to we're pretty much on time. Here's Fortune and Glory by Jack Wilds. And here. Yeah, so we get a little bit of a sense of that one as well. So again, fortune and glory. <clears throat> Next up, we're going to Christmas. So a lot of you may remember Gerard Hall's You Better Slay. Um, this year we're doing something slightly harder, but it's called Walking Down Christmas Lane. Um, and uh, I, I, there's so many different styles in here. Uh, it's just... It's a lot of fun. So I'm going to give you just a glimpse of this one. Um, we are going to start in measure two. Or measure one is just a suspended symbol. And so um, we're going to start in measure two. Let everybody jump in right away. So here we are. Ready? And here.
Chris. Here is 14. Good. And I just wanted to get you just a little bit into a way in a manger. Now we're going to jump all the way near the end to measure 145. There's so much great music in here. You just got to listen to it. I promise you it's, it's just stunning. So we're going to start right at 145. Uh, I'm going to actually give you uh, the downbeat right away. But uh, for those of you, obviously, uh, the melodies and the low voices. So just be aware of that and be ready to rock and roll. All right. Here's walking uh, down Christmas Lane. This is right at 145. Ready? And... Watch this. All right. It's so much fun. Uh, yeah, I had a triple sinus infection when I was doing this recording session, but I believe I still smiled at that point. So uh, a lot of fun. Uh, here we have Behemoth. We're down to three, folks. We're down to three. Behemoth, Adrian Sims. This piece is a really epic, cinematic sounding piece. I'm going to take you towards the very end. And so let's jump all the way to 89. Um, great opportunity to work on multimeter. You can either conduct this in three plus two or in six, eight. Uh, I just skipped right over 89. All right, but we're going to start right on 89. All right. And I'll kind of go between six, eight and two and three and two, depending on where we are. All right, here we are. Ready? It's quick. Two, three, set, ready. Ah. Here we go, horn! Let it rip! comes together really well and it's just a lot of fun to play 
All right. Next up, pranks of the pesky poltergeist. Tim Lowe's again, Tim's on the call. This is the one piece I'm going to just play all the way through. It's a minute and 37 seconds, and it is absolutely just so much fun. You just have to hear it. Lots of toys, dropping silverware, all these different things of this, these little poltergeists. And so I think you're going to love it. All right. Pranks of the pesky poltergeist, Tim Lost. Ready? And here. clock It's so much fun. That was the other piece that helped me get over my triple sinus infection. Okay. Uh, okay. Last piece, folks. Last piece. Lucid Dreams. Grade four and a half. Uh, this is the last one. Adrian Sims. Again, there's so much great music. I would love to play the entire thing for you. We don't have time. And the band director chops are probably starting to say, what are you doing to me? Okay. We are going to start in measure 75. You can go find that. Okay. All right. And again, this is moving pretty quick. We're going to go all the way to the end on this one. But here we are at 75. All right. Awesome. All right. 75, Lucid Dreams. Two, three, set, ready. Ah. Quarter note stays constant. One and two and. And one, two. One and two and. Thank you. 
Okay. It is seven o'clock on the nose. And we just read through 20 pieces. So for all of you who are bleeding, my apologies, but it didn't go over. Okay. Um, so absolutely thrilled to have you all here. Don't go yet. Make sure that you get your uh, promo code that we're gonna have for you. And again, anything you wanna hear full length, it's all on the Alfred website, including about the 15 pieces that we didn't even have time to read tonight. So Heather, pass it off to you. Impeccable timing, Brian. Good you job. You know what? I went two minutes over yesterday and I told her I was gonna go two minutes over, but she still told me I went two minutes over. And, and we all know how timely band people are. They never go over in rehearsal. <laughs> Well, thank you. It's uh, great music tonight. Thank you to all of our attendees. Uh, a special shout out to our composer guests who came tonight as well. Thank you for being here. Uh, there's a link in the chat to a slide that has lots of other links, including the promo code uh, to buy the titles uh, for 25% off with free shipping, a Make Music Cloud playlist of today's selections, order guide, a certificate of attendance, and a survey to help us bring more great content to you. So thank you again for coming. Don't forget to send pictures. I want to see yep. you, right? Don't forget Please to send, send pictures. pictures. Events at alfred.com or just tag me. I just, I love to see people in their own spaces playing along. So thank you so much. Thank you.